In this video, we'll discuss how to use the Closet Assistant to share to a party. When parties are underway, under the Parties, Active Parties, you'll see a notification of the current party that is underway. If no current parties are underway, you'll see the word None. Currently, there is a party underway. The Free People, Birkenstock, and more Posh Party is underway. To share to this party, you can select the Share to Party toggle. You'll see in your activity log, Party Sharing Mode, activate it. And you'll select Start. You'll see the Closet Assistant has loaded 22 products. You'll receive failed messages on items that are not supported by that party. Here you'll see Victoria's Secret items, Levi's, and a 7 for All Mankind have not been shared. On the seventh item, you'll see a Free People dress has been shared because that's what the party supports. Sharing in this method will run through your entire closet. Failed messages will appear when those, mess when those products are unable to be supported by that party or do not fit the party guidelines. I'll select Stop. Another way to share to a party is by looking at the party details. Most of the time, this is the way we share our closet. To find the party details, navigate to the Parties page, select the party, view the party details. Here, you'll see all of the items that are allowed to be shared in that party, all categories, and here are all the brands. So if you want to filter all of those brands, then you'll know all of the items are being shared properly. I'll close that out. I'll show you what I mean. We'll navigate back to our closet. Again, it's a free people party, so I'll filter just free people in my closet. So I have three, three free people uh, items in my closet. Come to the share items tab. We have the share to party toggle selected. I'll clear out the log and I'll start. All three of those items will share to that party because they fit the party description and brands allowed. As you can see, all three items have shared and the process stops after they have been shared. Above the start button, you'll see enter party keywords. You can use this to share to parties by typing in keywords, for example, dress. You can enter the word dress there. All of the items in your closet that, mit, that fit the description of the party will share as long as you have the word dress in the title. The keywords here, will, the keywords from the title of your items, that's the key to remember. It only looks at the title of your items. So if this said dress and this one did not, it would only share this item. Let's take a look. As you'll see, it is sharing the dresses. It did only share two items of three items that I have filtered because that is not a dress and it does not have the word dress in the title. Also to note and to remember that when you want to share items of other people's closet or, or excuse me other items that are in parties you must go to the party page and use the feed sharing option. When you want to share items from your closet, you use the Share Items Start button. I'll 
I'll clear the log, clear the filters, navigate to the party, select the party, open the closet assistant, and use the feed share to share other people's items in that party. As you can see, the closet assistant is sharing items of other people's closets or items in a party. I'll select stop. I'll clear the log. Every time you're finished sharing to a party, always turn that toggle off. Clear the keyword. So now in the future, you're ready for the next party or function of the closet assistant. In the next video, we'll talk about how to follow users with the Closet Assistant. Again, if you ever have any issues along the way, please email us at info at closetassistantpm.com.